Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Mowler's A Critique of Resident Evil 7 Part 4. Now, I was thinking about doing both Parts 4 and 5 because it's been a long time since we've done any of this, but I noticed how long Part 5 is, and there's other reactions I want to get to today as well, so yeah, I think we're just going to do Part 4 today, and we'll try to get more consistent with this again going forward. Um, I don't even remember where it left off because it's been so long, but we'll, we'll get back into it. He'll uh, get us into it, and I'll be able to still react to and give my thoughts on what he's saying as he says it, of course. Um, oh, excuse me. As a reminder, um, I love Resident Evil 7. I think it's one of the best horror games in recent memory, personally. Um, and definitely my favorite Resident Evil game um, out of the ones I've seen. Um, which hasn't been all of them, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I just have to get that out of the way. Now also, you may be wondering, where have I been for so long? Why has it been so long since I've gotten to this? Well, the simple answer is just a lot of stuff has been happening lately. I mean, there was the uh, Thanksgiving holiday... There's my foot injury, my foot injury kind of coming back for a little bit um, this past uh, these past few days, um, among other stuff, and just wanting to get to other reactions, prioritizing them and stuff. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just there's been a lot going on, so I just have been focusing again on the other stuff. But we're finally back to this, and. I am excited. While Mowler's videos aren't necessarily the most entertaining, they're at least interesting to compare and contrast with my thoughts. Um, as you know, I did the his critique of Outlast, and while I very much disagreed with a lot of what he said, there was a lot he said that I did agree with, and overall, our opinions are still very different. I still love Outlast, like, very much and he doesn't. <laughs> um, so even if his opinions on Resident Evil 7 continue to be a little more negative, it's like, okay. But I mean, if I remember right, he has said there is a lot to enjoy with this game, and there is a lot of legitimate positives. Um, I believe he has pointed out that there is a lot he does really like about it. Unlike with Outlast, in which he was mostly entirely negative, let's be completely honest. <laughs> um, I believe he did say that there was a lot he did very much enjoy with this game, but there were also some things that really dragged it down. If I remember, one of the things he didn't like was Mia. He didn't like the way Mia was handled, and in the end he felt like it was just... It, it was like a no-brainer to him to give the cure to Zoe, who he uh, felt had been more helpful and more useful and just overall better throughout the game than Mia, who he really didn't find a reason to care about anymore, even though, the again, kind of the main goal of the game is not just escaping the Baker Estate, but doing so with Mia, who you would come there to rescue in the first place. Um... But yeah, <laughs> um, he didn't like Mia uh, and that entire kind of part of the game. Um, but then I, I believe he really liked the Baker family themselves, even if they had a few little issues with how they were handled. Um, I believe he did love the concept and part of the execution of them. Um, and I'm going, again, I'm trying to go off memory here, so I don't remember exactly everything he has said so far. Um, but I am excited to get to more of this. Um, I, I am interested to hear what he has to say. I don't remember if we got through the entire story, because I, I know, I, I believe he did start to talk about the story, but I don't know if we ever finished it in the, in the, par the first three parts. So maybe there will be more of that. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see. I assume he would probably have finished it, but I don't know for sure. Um, yeah, we'll just see. 
Um, and as always, I know, Everett, you're not as familiar with this game as you were with Outlast, so you probably won't be doing a one of your book reports on this one uh, for my reaction. But I would still love to hear your thoughts um, based on what you do see here and what you might think based on, again, what you see. Um, but either way, uh, we're going to get right to this, so yeah, let's do so. <laughs> So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts. I will contain spoilers to the uh, part. <laughs> Not really an episode, so the part, the video. Uh, so that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. First of all, really sorry for the lighting. I came over to this side of the love seat to get away from that lighting, and it did not work. Um, because the sun moves. I don't know why it was, uh, why the lighting's been this terrible today. I don't know. It usually hasn't been this bad. I don't know. Either way, so, uh, this episode... Or this part, I should say. Um, yeah, mostly just not too much to talk about. A lot of stuff that, again, I agree with. A lot of stuff that I don't really agree with as much. Um, though most of this, I would say, is more on the agree side to more of a meh, I guess. Um, one thing I will note is that he never did the video on the DLC like he said he was going to do. Um, he said at the end of this that he was going to, there's one more part to get to, and then he was going to, like, do the Not a Hero DLC and, like, a part six, but have it, like, maybe its own thing as well. He never did that. And this series is, like, what, two, three years old now? So it's, like, whatever. <laughs> kind of sucks that he's not going to talk about the DLC unless he does somehow fit it into the next video as well, but I'm honestly kind of doubting it. Considering the next video is like 33 minutes long, um, I doubt he's going to have enough time to really talk about the DLC at all. It sucks that he never got to that, though. Um, either way. Either way. Uh, so, yeah. Just more of the... There's, again, there's just not really a lot to talk about. I feel like I want to, I want to talk about more, but there's not really a lot to discuss with this one. Uh, most of my thoughts were given out during the reaction. It's like, oh, this is how he feels about something, well, here's how I feel about it. And it's like, what do I add? <laughs> like, with a show or something, with a show or a movie, it's like I can share my thoughts on certain scenes and stuff, but this, it's like, it's a review, a critique, so it's an entirely different kind of thing to react to. Um, I don't know. I, I really have nothing else to say, and I, I feel, like, terrible about having this, uh, these closing thoughts not actually being closing thoughts and not really having anything to them. Um, I guess just tell me what you thought in the comments below, and sorry. <laughs> I apologize, I really do. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in anyways, and for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time. Hey everyone, Connie here, and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you want to check out any of my social media links and more, please check them out over to the side. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave those down below. In the meantime, though, thank you so much once again for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See you all next time.